Reverse! Reverse! Beep, beep, beep! Can't let you go like this. Can't you? What have you forgotten? I didn't bring my rolly in the end. First on your left, then right again. Can you write it all down? I'll forget otherwise. Uh, the, the illness and uh, all the details for the funeral on Monday. I get my St Peter's mixed up with my St Paul's and I need all the information at my fingertips so I can tell Michael when he's well enough. It'd be quicker to tell him myself. No! Would you excuse me? Just a minute. Um... I... Uh, window cleaner is next door. Need to head him off before... Hiya, love. What are you doing home? Lloyd let me go early. Yeah, he said I'd done enough for one day. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> Tough shift. Oh, I spent most of it on my knees with a spanner in my hand. Well, time to get my feet up. No, no, in the rovers. That's what you need, time to wind down. No, no, feet up, shoes off, racing on. That's what no, I no, need. I, I didn't know you were coming home, so I've been cleaning out covers. There's nowhere to sit. I'll have a nice little snooze on the bed. Uh, oh, Steph, look, now. Here you are, Thursday back. She was asking how it went. Hmm? Uh, he can tell you, over a pint. In the Rovers, uh, give me ten minutes and I'll, I'll come and join you. It's like a bomb's dropped in our place. Don't want him stressing. Too tired to stress. Uh, let him have a, a whiskey, a mm. small one. I'll be over like a shot. As soon as I've cleared up this mess, I'm going to need a stiff drink myself. And whatever you're having. <laughs> well, I won't deny it was good to get back on the mic again. <laughs> Chatting to the drivers. <laughs> we have some laughs. Can't wait to hear it. <laughs> mm. It's not what you call a classic. <laughs> not like, say, vodka and cranberry. Oh, you like vodka? That'd be lovely. Thanks. Uh, I'll make do with orange hun if uh, cranberry's too exotic. How are these museums stay open? Can you even have an espresso machine? <laughs> <laughs> In the glove compartment. <laughs> Hello, remember me? Oh, this is uh, Steph. I was telling you about my girlfriend. And my dad, Michael. This is... Uh, we didn't do names. She's uh, just off the plane. Oh. Return ticket out. <laughs> Joke. That's the other thing. The English sense of humour. So overrated. Oh, well, name me an Italian that's ever made you laugh. Mario Balotelli. Doesn't count. Charlie Caroli. Right, children. Right, Charlie. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, 6 90 please. Oh, your shout. OK, I'll have a Malibu and Coke, large, and a whiskey for Michael. Small. They don't take your rose. Feeling flush, are we? He's been all right, sweetheart. Giving me the lowdown on what to do and where to go. <laughs> well, when you need a lift back to the airport, Michael's your man, OK? No rush. I think I'm going to like it round here. It's ever so good of you. Time's precious. Family, friends, you need to hold them close. I could explain all that to his doctors. Poor Michael. Never got to patch things up with Gavin. Why they deny him the chance to say his last goodbyes well, on it Monday? Just might tip him over the edge. We're treading on eggshells. You've no idea. Every day throws up another hurdle. But I give you my word, Barbara. Whatever happens, we won't let Gavin down. If his dad can't go, then I'll go in his place. His passing won't go unmarked. Thank you. Thank you, love. Safe home now. Mm. I'll be in touch. Joseph, what are you doing here? Come here, give me a cuddle. Mm. You won't let us leave without giving you this picture. Says it's you and Daddy. Oh. Let's <laughs> have a look. Oh, I love it. Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it up here, and every time I look at it, I'm going to think of you. Oh. Well, it's only a flying visit. Our taxi's waiting outside. How was Jez? Yeah, it didn't seem right, you know, with everyone around. Anyway, I've got you these. Well, my mum did, really, but... Manchester to Farrow? Yep. And the flexi ticket, so you can go whenever you like. 
Obviously, when you're back on your feet. <laughs> but don't take ages, all right? I mean that. You'll think I don't, but I do. Just keep this little fella happy, yeah? Yep. Come on, then, we better go. Give her a cuddle. Oh, there you go. Bye bye, mm. darling. Mm. Look after yourself and look after Ches. See ya. See ya. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it was really nice. Bye. You look surprised to see me. You didn't tell me you had an appointment. Didn't I? What we discussed earlier? You, you were decidedly tight-lipped. Oh, uh, well, we're just about done. Wouldn't you say, Debbie? I's dotted, T's crossed. Indeed. <laughs> You're a lucky man, Mr. Cropper. Am I? I was about to be the bearer of bad news, but thanks to Sharif, we have a win-win situation. Entente cordiale. The allotment committee allocated the plot to Sharif. He's suggested you share until another one comes available. Well, that is most generous, yes, most... Yeah, especially after our earlier conversation. So you're happy to accept? Oh, very, very. Thank you, Shireen. Mighty oaks from little acorns grow, eh? Mighty oaks. Not on this plot, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> now, we nipped into the community centre to see what was on today, and you like the look of splash time. Down at the bath, soft, we toddled. Yeah. And how was it? You're not the most confident in water. No, you soon settled down. Hey, buddy, what have we got for bath time? Oh. Wow, these are cool. Yeah. You're like a little minion. Yeah. Hey, look. Uh, We've got a little club down there. Ducks to water. I bought you the form in case you're interested. <laughs> I've been meaning to get round to this. Yeah, but you're busy, aren't you? You can't be expected to do everything. I got pushed in the deep end when I couldn't swim. Janie Ruth Howcroft. No, I flashed before my eyes, honestly, all seven years of it. <laughs> what happened? She drowned, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, Janie Ruth took a dunk in the Veruca pool face down. <laughs> What is the point in paying Michael to come back off the sick if you're just going to send him home at the slightest twinge? It's not Michael that needs TLC. What? How? Well, you should just scrap it. No? Are you kidding? Let's get one on finance. Finance? Yeah. A recliner with a built-in back massager. Mm -hmm. Buy now, pay 2020. She doesn't get it, does she, mate? I mean, streetcars without this chair. It's like salt without vinegar. It's like lager without lime. You drink lager without lime. It's like ant without deck. Oh. Pass me the... and the... Uh... <sighs> it's gonna be a big job, this. We're gonna need biscuits. Chocolate. You're lucky. I've never even met my dad. My mum reckons he was a waste of space, but I just can't help feeling that there's something missing in here. You know, I'm always watching and wondering, could that be him? Could she be my stepsister? You feel lost. You might need therapy, but Gav's fine, really. Do you always speak for him? That stuff's cute at first. You think they really care, but controlling behaviour's just the start. Mm. They're the insecure ones. They're the ones with the problem. The only problem I've got is you and your big gob. Uh, play nice the girls, please. Sponging drinks. Is it her money? Telling total strangers how to live their lives. Our opinions are legal now in England. When did they bring that law in? Move. I have had enough. No, no. no. Step, 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 step to Get off! Get off that! Yes! She needs a slap. A friendly face. Graham! Don't you friendly face me, Bethany Platt. What are you doing here? <laughs> You've been drinking. What well, is a pub, Gail? She's 14. Not in here, she's not. Get out now. Did you buy that? He did. I thought she was a student. She had a row with the taxi driver. Oh, well, there's a pattern emerging here. Because if you lose me my licence, I'll do more than row with you. I'm sorry, Michelle, we're leaving now. 
Don't look at me like that. Well, how am I supposed to look at you? You turn up out of the blue on your own, middle of the term, cause chaos with me neighbours. You got off on the wrong foot. No warning. Not a dicky bird from your mum. It's a surprise. For what? It's not my birthday. It's not your birthday. You're always going on about how much you miss us. Yes, I do. But why now? I just fancied a decent cup of tea. Well, it looks more impressive than it is. They cook themselves these one-pot things. A pot noodle cooks itself, and this takes preparation. And it smells fantastic. Well, dig in, then. You too, Sophie. Hello. Oh, do you do this deliberately? I've just sat down to my tea. No, I don't want to lose the business. All right, bye. Tyrone. Yeah, break down Barton Bridge. Sorry. All this hard work as well. Right. Mm. I'll see you later. See you, see you, pal. So, uh, what's lined up for the weekend then, girls? Shopping? Clubbing? Oh, just my friend at the choir. She's having a party. Yeah, it's gonna be fizzy pop and everything. <laughs> uh, dancing and music, and proper music, not like hymns. Till? Mm, gone midnight? Oh, uh, laugh all you want, my dear. The last party shed was raided by the police. Mm, the fashion police. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Jack! Jack, spit that out! Jack! What is it? What's he got? He's got an onion off that plate, a shallot, if it sticks in his throat. Well, he's not choking. Just help me get him upside down, will you? What? Hey, Maddie, quick! No, wait! Jack, stand up. Open your mouth for sofa. Oh, panic over. I should have moved that plate away. He could have choked. I'm so sorry. He's fine. Your dad's going to flip. Oh, what? There's nothing to tell. Unless Jack snitches. Yeah, or unless them gravy stains on your top give it away. There you go, it shouldn't stain. No, um... No, I can't, um... I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go. Well, you haven't touched your tea. Yeah, and Jack's fine. I shouldn't move that plate away. If he'd put it in his mouth. Jenny, will you chill? We just tell your dad, um, that I'll... I'll see him, yeah. I'll, um... I'll, 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 I'll just ring him. Sorry. I told you. Is she a weirdo or what? So long as I'm not under her feet, Mum doesn't care where I am. One proper cup of tea. Ooh, Lancashire blend. Brilliant. Bethany, I know that's not true. Screaming's the only way of getting her to notice me. Since Stevens put that new boss in at the factory. Mm, she did say things were tricky at work. Tricky? Late nights, weekends. She spends more time in the office than the flat. Oh, yeah, but what a fabulous flat. Four bedrooms, terrace overlooking the square. I like to have my breakfast there. Sat out like Audrey Hepburn. Not so fabulous when you're the only one in it. When I said I was thinking of visiting, she couldn't get my bags packed fast enough. I know it's not been easy for you. Both of you. I just thought, I want my nonna. Oh. Oh, sweet. Oh, darling, this is Oscar, isn't it? Yeah, she's just a kid. Hey, we've got a visitor. Hello, man. Uncle David. Hi, oh, it's Prague. Not brought your mum, have you? We're just one big happy family. <laughs> <laughs> mum. How long is she stopping for? Not forgotten about Monday, have you? It's that next mediation session. Well, you promised me you were going to be there. I can't deal with Callum on my own. I'll end up doing something I'll regret. No, I, I hadn't forgotten. Of course I'll be there. Excuse me, you're walking through my potatoes. I beg your pardon? This block here, going to be Maris Pipers. Sweet corn, two rows. Sweet corn? Two rows, lark. Early yielding. Show the height, they'll block out the light. If you must plant them, then at least put them the up. Yasmin's quite partial to a corn on the cob. Put them up against the fence. Anything else will be counterproductive. I need the fence to stake my peas. What, 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 what constitutes a split of this share? I presume that it will be 50 50. Here they are, the worker bees. Productive afternoon by the looks of things. Sharif. Living proof of Aristotle's view that nature abhors a vacuum, particularly when that vacuum happens to be mine. Without ambition, we are nothing. Good, good. <laughs> this plot next door it seems rather neglected. That belonged to Mr. Matthews. 
gold medal winning collies. We waited for Mrs. M to decide what to do. It's a lot of work for a widow on her own. No, 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 parsnips. Clearly designated. They left something else. It's from Linda. It's nice for a minute. Well, there's pressure you don't need. No, it's something to aim for. I'm going to run down that beach to the sea. You on one side, Joseph on the other. This summer. Yeah, maybe. Hey, if I say we're going to do it, we're going to do it. It's you and me against the world now, Ches. The world won't stand a chance. Mm -mm. For a pair of dozy lummoxes, you've really come up trumps today, boys. <laughs> I think it looks better than I've ever seen it look. Well, my lady. You forgetting something? It's my bum that broke that in the first place. Oh, that's true. That is true. Oh. It is true. True, true, true. Sir, you shall have the honour. Ah, Monsieur Bacou. <laughs> Shouldn't we uh, smash a bottle of champagne, you know, like a maiden voice thing? No. Could as do. No, better. On the lower back. Well, good work, partner. Good work. Ah, your turn. Well, ready then. Uh, you do know Eileen's due any minute. I reckon this calls for a celebratory pint. I'm in the chair, obviously. Uh, um, I'm not drinking today. Ah, well, some of the time then. Eh? Well, uh, hang on. What about a pint of orange juice? Oh, look, leave him. He's happy where he is. Yeah, safe journey, love. Same to you both. Th thanks for ringing. Bye, love. Bye. Is it Katie? Yeah, they're just about to board now. Chin off a minute, I thought. What, that she changed her mind? Mm. Well, at least you rang. <laughs> come here, you. <laughs> no, 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 come here. I want to say thank you. Do you know, you are my little silver lining, you are. You're always trying to find the best in people. I don't. Yes, you do. I'm all right, Cal. Yeah, only sometimes. <laughs> We've had one hell of a year, and you've been overlooked more than you deserve. That's going to change from now on, isn't it, Anna? Suits me. From this moment on, you don't have to share us with anyone. You, Mrs. are going to get our full undivided attention. You've got that. You let everyone wrap you round their little finger. I do not. Steph. Steph. You forgot your cardi. Gail, that's Audrey's. Yeah, I know. I had to get out somehow. Barbara called round. Michael's auntie. I had to keep Michael away from the house. Oh, thought you were cracking up. It's bad news. Do we ever get anything else? They did a post-mortem. You were right. Gavin collapsed at the wheel. Heart attack. No, I was so down on him. I thought it was self-inflicted. He stunk a booze. I told you it wasn't, though. The family have had notice to clear out the flat. Andy can still stay, though. No. Nah. My name was never on the tenancy. Well, that's not fair. Right, well, come to me. I've got plenty of room. Yes, well, wherever you go, make sure you dig out your suit for Monday. Gavin's funeral. I can't go. I, I mean, I want to, but after everything I've done... Exactly. After everything you've done... You're going. And that's that. What do you mean, John? What did you say to her? Boo. Yeah, well, you've not exactly given the red carpet treatment, have you? She thought Jack was choking, Dad. It was literally a tiny cough. She had a massive meltdown, Dad. Seriously, I know she looks all there, but there is something not right. She's not picking up now. I wonder why. We'll find out what she's got to say tomorrow. Oh, and then she's who to blame. I like your logic there, Kev. Yeah, thanks for your vote of confidence, Dad. We're going checking on Jack. You know, she's the only woman I know that can start an argument when she's not even in the room. You bet your bottom dollar I will. I'm just sorry you've had to cope with all this on your own. No, no, I'm not going to put her on. I want to talk to her first. Busted, big time. All right, love, well, you try and get a good night's sleep, eh? Okay. 
Bye. Think I'm stupid? Don't answer that. Do you think I wouldn't call Sarah and find out what's been going on? Her version of? There's only one version of expelled. And only one version of stealing money from your mother's credit card to pay for the flight. Bethany Platt, how do you plead? David, you're not helping. Did she notice? Did she help? She thought you are on a school trip to Florence. She's been worried sick. She's been calling every one of your friends. Yeah, and I bet every single one of them dubbed you in. Like you know what a friend was. Michael, put the laptop up. I, I need to see flights to Milan. Can't see a mini break. You do it. You're quicker than me. Breaks my heart, but... OK, fire in a bath. No! You'll stay where you are till this is sorted. Manchester to Milan, Bergamo, Saturday 13.25, Sunday 13.25, Monday 13.25, you get the picture. Book her on the one tomorrow. Well, you'll be wasting your money. I'm not going. I beg your pardon. I'm staying here. <laughs> Kid, it's my house. I say who stays and who goes. Well, I'll sleep on the streets then. Or find some good-looking guy to take pity on me. Where does your Gavin live again? Nowhere. Uh... You'll do as you're told. Grant... You can rant and rail all you like, but you're wasting your breath. There's nothing there for me anymore. I'm not going back to my life. And the stars from the street join Philip tomorrow night in our brand new game show, You're Back in the Room. That's Saturday at 25 past eight. Over on ITVB tonight, there's a blast from the past for Ben. The Bachelor is next. And stay with us here as only three can make it through to the final. Bear will decide. Mission Survive is coming up. <laughs>